We are here at the start of the Traca Adventure 560, now 540. <laughs> One of Euro's biggest gravel race now has a 560 kilometers version, the Traca Adventure. But what is this? Is it an intersection of long distance gravel race and traditional ultra racing? We will find out. The course is pretty hilly at the beginning, but after 170 kilometers and some descents, it starts to flatten up. So it will be a fast course, but how long will it take? It's been raining all week. Uh the road is kind of flood, flooded, the path, so let's see how it goes. Uh, yeah, it has been delayed the start from Wednesday to Thursday because of thunderstorms, so it's definitely going to be an adventure. How are you feeling before the race? Uh, to be honest, it's the first race I didn't want to start on. Uh, the legs, whoa, I had uh, so I've not been cycling for five days and I had a horrendous cramp <laughs> since yesterday in my uh, quadriceps, so Definitely you shouldn't stop cycling five days before a race. Ready? Yeah, let's see, let's see. <laughs> preparation was a bit bumpy. Uh, I've been on the bike for five days, quite stressful preparation, but yeah, now at least the weather forecast is a bit better. Let's do it. Time to check out the course, which was pretty muddy, I must say. It was like, wow, <laughs> I really struggled to hold my bike in some of the muddy sections, but it was fun, quite flat at the beginning, and then you get to a punchy hill. Here we go, first parts of the course, already muddy. <laughs> Me not, the cameraman fell on the boat. k there's gravel and then there's a lot of tarmac now we are at 22k and it starts on climbing adventure in girona the course beautiful i must say it's the first 20k today we have been the start of the traca adventure but it was cancelled, trucker cancelled. So, gravel riding in Girona, bus along style. <laughs> truck cancelled. Truck cancelled. <laughs> How are the legs today? Ah, feeling better than the other day, no cramps. <laughs> so, you would have smashed it in adventure? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not in the mud, mud fest. So, we are doing the rustic gravel loop. You can find all information and GPX in the link in the description. Uh, starting with a hard climb and then a descent to practice. <laughs> yeah, but it's a fun one, I must say, really beautiful. And now a fallen tree. Despite the event being cancelled, we decided to have our own gravel adventure in Girona, checking out some of the most beautiful routes, but also challenging. No warming in this one. See, five kilometers already up. I was very surprised by the amount of gravel routes you can find around Girona. You can go from going flat all day to really steep long climbs. All of this makes it a really oh. fun place to ride your bike ride. and for people like me to practice your skills on gravel. Today the start of the Traca 360, today the start of 200k with 4000 meters of elevation. Let's see how it goes. Putting on some work in those legs. <laughs> There's a lot of you 
can do an extra climb if you want. <laughs> Optional. That's why they call it Seven Peaks of Girona. You can go to the peak or you can just continue. <laughs> Enough climbing for me. I don't know who designed this route. An ultra cyclist? <laughs> the last torture at the end? Making progress, the Selvio of Girona. <laughs> 15 kilometers gravel climb. Good training. 3,000 something meters of elevation or something. Of course, I had to go for a tough route. <laughs> Holidays. <laughs> Basalon version, track cancel. Another gravel route. Today is the easy gravel to the beach.